Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of The Mythos Deviations by Beard. If you don't know what these are, they are a set of six scenarios and six investigators to supplement the six official campaigns. So this is basically like some DLC, so to speak. It's a, it's a standalone scenario that you can add into existing campaigns all the way up to Innsmouth. Today, we are playing pictures at an exhibition. This is the Path to Carcosa scenario. Um, so why don't we dive in and read some literature as written by Beard. Um, all right, so we're playing standalone. So we're going to do intro three. Murders are common wherever money flows unchecked, but the death of a Boston art collector made headlines in Arkham due to its peculiar nature. Can I print these? Yes. Uh, if you search Mythos Deviations, you should be able to find something on that, potentially. I actually don't know the answer to that question, but I don't see why you couldn't. Uh, in addition to a strange symbol being carved on the dead man's chest, only two paintings were stolen from his collection, both works of a little-known painter named Corsanand Malenvoud. Um... While other more famous artists, pieces, art pieces were left behind, it can hardly be coincidence that less than a month later, a Parisian art dealer named Bernard Prevel announced the exhibition called Glory in Yellow, featuring paintings exclusively by Malenvoud. You have clear suspicions that something occult lurks under the surface, but is it imagined or real? Uh, the lead investigator adds the man in the pallid mask, and then we can set him aside. We have four conviction and two doubt. So we're going to go to setup. So I've done all this other this stuff. Uh, the man in the pallid mask set aside. I think we dive in and get this show on the road. Uh, La Galerie de Roy. You enter the art gallery to find a small crowd observing the pictures on display. The art of Corsonade Malenvald uses striking colors and fantastical imagery, some of it bordering on the disturbing. Bienvenue, ma ami. Uh, ma ami. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce French. I'm sorry. A small man with thin rimmed glasses and a tr and I'm Canadian, I really should. And a trimmed goatee approaches with an intense look of joy on his face. I am Bernard Preville, owner of this gallery, and I invite you to gaze upon the works of Corsinad Malenvoud, a genius beyond her years and one that departed this world all too soon, leaving behind only glimpses of true wonder. You ask Miss Monsieur Preville how long ago the artist died, Billy cocks his head with a crooked smile. Who said anything about death? I would get the fuck out. If that if that he said that to me. Uh, that would be a sign that I need to leave. Six Doom advances. Surrealist movement. The sudden sound of elated laughter rips through the gallery. You turn to see the other patrons jubilee, jubilee, uh, jubilee tearing at the paintings, puncturing them by hand like stretched paper. The paintings, rather than being destroyed, begin to explode outward, transforming the nearby walls and floor. You turn back to question Monsieur Prevel, but he has vanished. What madness has the king's servants brought? We can spend a clue to fight. This attack targets a monster in a mere location, and this attack uses brain instead of fist and deals plus one damage. Uh, okay. When Carcosian portrait is defeated, set it aside out of play and place one clue on this act. After investigator enters the owner's office, we must immediately advance. Okay. So paintings of course on Malenvoud line the walls. There does not seem to be any method to their organization with paintings of different subject matters and years of completion all jumbled together. Gallery floors connect each copy of Life Like Painted and vice versa. As an action, we can resign. We have to leave this madhouse. Um, all art. Oh, that's a quote. All right. So this one. Investigators cannot enter owner's office while there are fewer than three clues on the act. The Carcosian portrait is defeated. It says I'll play and place one clue on this act. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's uh, resolve our opening mulligans, shall we? I mean, honestly, it's a pretty all right start over here. We're looking for items. Because we are a geared up deck. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep Gabriel. I think I'm going to keep the Occult Lexicon, but I'm going to get rid of these cards. Yes, I know getting rid of the Divination seems strange, but we got other things that we're cooking for. It's not those things, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not those, but that's all right. Okay. So I don't like geared up decks because I feel like I'm... I mean, we have to find a weapon. So you're gone. You're gone. You're staying no matter what. I know I can play you for one cheaper, but we kind of want to dig for one of our weapons, right? Right? 
I mean, I think we have to find our weapons. I think I have to keep the voice of Ra. Do not adjust your television sets. You are seeing what you think you are seeing. This is an accurate representation of what is going to be happening in this scenario. <laughs> Do not worry. Do not worry. All right, well, we might as well start over here, right? So I can play this for three. And then I can play each of these for um, free. Okay. I'm down for it. Uh, let's put a bless token in. Uh, and then I'm going to spend one, two, three, four. We're going to play Gabriel. I don't think we voice of Ra yet. I think we wait a turn or two. Oh, yeah. So I added the bless. Let's check out one of these paintings. Let's see what's cooking. Lifelike painting. Le Chateau Hanté. Oil on canvas. 1918. Three shroud, two player clues. Gabriel Bardo, five months at the golden table. Thank you for your support and thank you for using your Twitch Prime on us. We really appreciate it and hope you're having a great day. Um, while there's horror on this location, it gains uh, Carcosa and Portrait gains plus one horror. If there are fewer than three clues on the act, no clues on this location, and Carcosa and Portrait is not in play. Place one horror on this location. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll investigate it five to three and keep this show going. I'll go seven to three, might as well. Look to replace that ASAP. I'll grab a clue. Okay. Uh, let's go upkeep. Destroying all those damn Mystic cards I put in at the last minute. That is a nice draw. But I mean, I think we're going to do an enchant weapon first to get this cooking. All right, one to six. Let's see what the game is for us. Uh, if there are no possessed enemies in play, you gain Surge. Otherwise, so there are no possessed enemies. So we're going to go like this. Whispers in your head dismay. You cannot commit cards to skill tests. Commit skill cards to skill tests. Roger Dodger. Uh, bleeding Paint. There's actually, like, there's so much. So I, I was working on a custom campaign, and a big part of it is a painter. And there's so much, like... Um, then I'm like, hey, this is very similar to like what uh, I did. So I know I'm in good company is like what I'm saying. Put Bleeding Plane play next to the agenda deck. It's just to move from a painting location. You spend additional action or take a horror. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to put that here just to remind myself. Not that I think we're going to be leaving anytime soon. Okay. Well. We had a curse token. And then we also add an additional... So actually, can I go... I can trigger this one first to add the curse token to draw a card. And then I can trigger my ability to add a bless token. I think that's how that can work. Because neither of them are forced, so I get to choose the order that they happen. Very nice. Okay. Um... Two resources. Well, I'm going to put some Bless Tokens in, I think. We're going to do Keep Faith. We're going to add four Bless Tokens. Uh, and then I'm going to do a Voice of Raw. Gain a resource. I'm hoping if I hit, like, one Bless Token, and then, in my mind, they've paid himself back. Here we go, three tokens. Yeah, we're cooking. Go up there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend two to drop down an occult lexicon. Uh, and then I think for my last action, I'll just investigate it five to three. Minus four, this is test against a monster or avatar enemy. Perfect. So we'll grab a clue. All right. Uh, we're going to do a voice of Ra over here on Zoe's side. So we're going to gain a resource. Yeah, so we're just revealing the tokens. So that it's not like revealing them during a test. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the, the, the taboo on Voice of Raw is legit. It's a legit taboo. All right, well, then let's uh, play Beat Cop. 
and let's uh, enchant our, our uh, katana. Okay. We're doing a bit of setup. We're going a bit slow, but we are getting there. The Book of Living Myths. Okay. Two of six. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You're a big motherfucker, aren't you? Ooh, that makes this a little bit trickier, doesn't it? That's a big boy. That boy is pretty dang big, isn't it? The, no, that he, uh, Beard was referring to Forgotten Age for that one, because that was what I was building the decks for. Okay. So we can deal two damage to the guy with this. I could try to evade this guy at 4 to 1. Move in. Attack this guy a few times. I could also just like move in, let this guy punch me a few times. I think I'm okay with that. So we're going to move in. I'm going to get punched. Uh, and then we're going to attack with the katana. So we're going to go 7 to 3. Uh, but I will remove 3 bless tokens. We're going to move 3 bless tokens to get um, and deal with da additional damage. So we are 7 to 3. Nice. So... Uh, you'll take two damage. <laughs> Basically, just like a regular attack. All right, let's go again. We're going to go seven to the game's three. Oh, sorry. I have to add a blessed token as well. I'll do it after this test. So that puts us a nine. Minus four is five. So we can deal three damage i mean that's what we do right even though we don't get to do the enchant uh, the um the other thing because we went to nine minus four is five we succeed by exactly two so i'm just going to leave that bless token in i mean that's what we needed so i'll play this uh blood right i'll draw two cards <laughs> fuck <laughs> uh then i discard up to two cards which i will discard two I want all this shit. I want all of it. Yeah. Let's thusly discard some cards here, folks. Oh, sorry. Actually, before we do that, let's go back in time a little bit. Um, I will... Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second, because we actually have to rewind this. It's not going to be too much. It's just going to be like this. So, I add a curse token to draw a card. I draw this thing. This guy comes here. Then, I have my ability. I think I'm just going to draw a card. Sorry, I'm just going to add a, add, a, add, a, add a bless token. Okay. And then we do blood right. So then we draw two cards. And then we can discard two cards. Okay, well, I'm going to discard you. And I'm going to discard you. Spend two resources. And we kill the big thing. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, I guess I'll try to evade this guy at two to one. Sorry, one to two. So close. Let's go one more time. No. Okay. 
Uh, we'll take two horror. I think I'm just going to deny it. We'll take one damage. That's okay with me. All right, but luckily Zoe's ready for war. I mean, we had, we dealt with a we had a huge ass motherfucking enemy there. Um, so honestly, I'm pretty okay with how that went. That was a big thing to just have to deal with suddenly. That's another big thing to just have to deal with suddenly. Game. All right, let's go like this. Hey, all these enemies. Uh, you cannot trigger lightning bolt abilities. No. <laughs> No! Okay. Well, we have to save Kohaku. So let's use the katana. We're going to go seven to the game's two. You punk. Yeah, rest in peace, the four assets we have with lightning bolts. I will use this, so we're actually going to go 11 to 2. Yeah, we'll deal 2 damage. Uh, then we're going to swing our beautiful katana again. And we're going to go um, 7 to 2. I had a blessed token. Nice. You're dead. Huge. Huge news. And then, you have to take one more horror, right? Honestly, fuck me up. I ain't scared of death. We ain't scared of death over here, chat. We're not scared of anything. Except for not being able to do these. Okay. So now what we do is we're going to add a curse token. And then I'm going to draw a card. Yeah, we have the Key of Solomon, right? We can tank forever. Okay. Um, with my ability, I can add a curse token. But I think we remove... take an extra action this turn we're gonna spend for a key of solomon and then i'm going to remove a bless token to heal up to two damage from zoe Um, I am then going to play a voice of raw. I don't think we're going to hit, but I kind of just want to get this out. If we hit one, I'm happy. Yeah, cool. E cash. This is a B cop zero. If I had 29, he definitely would have been a B cop um, two. Okay. We are then going to spend, I think, two on a Book of Living Myths. We have an extra slot because it's a cult reliquary. And then, I think we're going to drop down this Guided by Faith. So... I'm going to use book. I'm going to add two blessed tokens, and then we're going to grab the helper as made by Descarpac, and we're going to resolve a blessed token. So that puts us at seven to three, and then that cascades into that. So we're going to grab two tokens, uh, two clues. I don't think we're going to trigger this yet, though, because we kind of need to, um, you know, not be dying. We just need to get, like, a turn where we don't draw an enemy. Because uh, who would have thought fighting with a motherfucking... Um, that's a good draw. A motherfucking katana would be so slow. <laughs> who, who could have seen this coming? Um, Alright, so we're going to test 4 to 4. 
Failed. Discard two cards at random from your hand. Sure, that's fine. Uh, four to four. We're going to pass. Watch this. I'll take the shot. Didn't even need it. Should have just believed. All right, what do you got? Ooh. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible. It gives uh, me something to do. And by me, I mean my good friend Kohaku. All right. Well, let's start chopping some people up. I'm in a katana with the enchant weapon. We're going to attack you at 11 to 3. You're toast. Look at that. I'm using my enchant weapon to have my katana deal two damage. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go seven to three. Give me a minus two, please. The most commonly roll, the common token at this difficulty. Oh, sorry, we should have had a bless. All right. Ooh. All right, so we're going to keep that bless in because we should have added one. But I do deal two damage. This motherfucker isn't going to die, is he? Seven to three. Nope. He will live to fight another day. I will add three blesses and three curses, though, to draw a card. Sorry, I did... We're for all. Another smoking pipe. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get rid of this, because then we can start doing things. <laughs> and other lies we tell ourselves. All right, I'm going to add a blessed token. We're going to Kia Solomon that blessed token away to heal Zoe. Um, and then honestly, uh, okay, so we add the blessed token. We also add the, then we also add a, we add a blessed token. We add a curse token. We remove the blessed token. I want to draw an extra card. Okay. Uh, we'll just go five to three on this. Yep, that'll work. Go again, five to three. Minus three, so we fail. Let's go again. Nice. I want my spectacles, because then we're really cooking. All right, so I was going to get punched again. We'll go upkeep. Hey. Five of six. It's a slow start, but I think we're about to get... Um, all right. That's actually really good because this possessed enemy is going to die. So we're going to go four to three. We pass. He lives. I don't have time for you! You know what? I'll give you plus three fight. I don't have time for you though, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, got, I gotta get out of this whispers in my head anxiety. It like kills my deck. <laughs> it just kills me. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think I'll take the horror. I'll put it on beat cop. All right. So, Kohaku is going to remove a curse token to gain two resources. And then, um, we add a bless token. No, the three of the signs is just a normal one. Okay. So I think what we do is I think we engage you and you die. Then I think I'm going to spend two, play the spectacles, and then we're going to move in here. Okay. Okay. I am confident things are now going to start being good. I'm going to stab you with the katana. We're going to do the enchant weapon. We have a million to two. Yes. You will die. 
and then I will get rid of this whispers in my head anxiety. We have no more anxiety. I am not going to fall off a cliff in Mexico. Upkeep. Honestly, you would have been great a million turns ago. Um, the thing in portals into the into the picture frames leak a steady flow of pigments in the gallery, but also a much more subtle presence that flows into your brain. In play order, each investigator without an encounter card in their hand searches the encounter deck for a card with a hidden keyword and secretly adds it to their hand. Then each investigator without an encounter card in their hand takes one horror. Search the encounter deck for a card with a hidden keyword. So that's going to be Zoe. Do, do, do. Hidden. Secretly, I dig in the mind. Confusion to your hand. In the round of the investigator's location, control player more clues as group reveal it and investigator. If your location has no clues in it, discard dagger of the mind confusion. Yeah, I'll take this one. Sure. Why not, right? Dude, there are a shit ton of enemies in here, huh? Well, luckily now our katana is locked and ready, ready to go. All right, each portrait is a window into the mind of the artist and one you understand at this point who is consumed with, uh, who was consumed with thoughts of Haster and Carcosa. Is her madness rubbing off on you? Each encounter card in your hand counts as two cards instead of one for the purposes of counting your hand, uh, hand size during the upkeep phase. Cool. All right, let's see what's cooking. Uh, that's a little bit bad for Zoe. You punk. You ready to die? Are you ready to fucking die? Okay. <clears throat> I think Kohaku can go first. Kohaku is going to add a curse token with Gabriel Carrillo to draw a card. And then I'm going to add a bless token with my ability or do I remove two? I think I add a bless token with my ability. Then we move into this one. Lifelike painting, Sphinx de Egypt. Oil on canvas, 1916. While the horror on this location, Carcosa and Poaching Gains Alert. Okay, okay. I am going to use the Prismatic Spectacles. So we're going to add a curse token to the bag. To investigate. Um, I get plus two, so we are seven to four. And then if a curse token is revealed, we discover an additional clue at our location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to resolve the curse token. So we are now five to four. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this math in pieces because I, I'm gonna commit you as well. So we're gonna go six to four. Nice. So we got to grab two clues here. Remove that curse token. I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to remove that bless to just heal a damage on me. Might as well. And um, then I think for my last action... We're going to just read the signs and go nine to four. Beauty, two clues. Okay. Let us fight. We are seven to four. I'm going to remove through blessed tokens, by the way. So we are 4, 9, 11 to 4. It'll take 2 damage. Cool. 
Uh, and then we're going to go again, adding a blessed token. So we're going to go seven to four. Give me a minus one, please. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, we'll use our foot instead. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> no, we'll just fight seven to four. <gasps> we did it. He's dead. Good job, Zoe. Everyone's really proud of you. You are, you are, you are awful. But don't worry, we'll find a bandolier and Alfuda. Let's go. All right, you ready for a boss monster, Zoe? Fuck. Oh, fuck. That's not great, to be honest. Okay, sure. Alright, well I think we can't reveal the boss anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'll have Zoe go first. Um, I think Zoe is going to clear out this card. Because this is if you control player or more clues. And then I'm also going to just get rid of this card, I think. Uh, while that's happening, I am going to remove a curse token to gain two resources. And then I suppose, yeah, we see what this is about, right? So we'll place a horror on this, and then we will spawn the Carcosan portrait at the floor. Interesting. So we have more conviction than doubt. It gains massive. Oh, you're just a guy. You're just a guy like me. Okay. So we place a horror on this location, and then you're just a guy. Okay, and we need to defeat you how many times? We have to defeat you three times. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to spend two. Oh, sorry. It's the start of my turn. Um, I'm going to add a bless token with my ability, and then we're going to add a curse token. curse token with Gabriel. We'll draw a card. Okay. I'm then going to spend two to bring out Keep Faith. So we're going to add um, four blessed tokens. And then we're going to investigate, and I'm going to resolve a blessed token. So we're going to go seven to four into, we're doing the Spire of Carcosa one. Nice. So I got to remove that. I don't know if there's a reason to move out and attack you. I mean, like, we have the blessed tokens to do it. I want to get rid of this. Five to four isn't great, but I could go six to four. We did it. Okay, that's actually huge. That's actually huge. Notably, I haven't committed any skill cards. This one only cares about skill cards. I think our only skill card we've had was that perception that we committed on the first or second turn. Okay, uh, I suppose for my last action, I'll draw a card. Cool. Can't commit that. Upkeep. Uh, I have to lose a card from my hand. It'll be Smoking Pipe. Then we're going to go two of six. Um, you can get plus three fight, I think. Yes. And I'll take a horror. Uh, third part of the location. If we control player more clues. Okay, we're good. Just eating up our hand size for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. 
So I think what we do is I think I get rid of one of these. We move in here. And then I engage you. And take a horror. I'm also going to heal a horror and take a damage. And I am going to remove a bless token to heal two damage. Fuck me, man. All right, uh, and then we're going to do the katana. I'm going to use one of these offerings so we can actually say we've done it. So we have four plus four, so we're eight. So we are we are eight to two. We did it! We killed someone with the second action of katana. All it took was three experience on enchant weapon. But chat, we fucking did it. We did it. All right, but now what does Kohaku do? Does Kohaku go in and just try to fight this painting at four to three? I think so. I don't freaking know, man. All right, well, we'll draw a card with Gabriel. I don't know what we're looking for. Not that. I think I'm going to remove, excuse me, I'm going to remove two to take an extra action this zone. All right, let's move in here. Hey, motherfucker. I know you're massive, but I'm just going to put you here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a clue. And I'm going to resolve uh, to fight you. So we're going to go six to three. Nice. We'll deal two damage to you. You're exhausted, by the way. I think four to three isn't the way. So I think I'm actually just going to let this guy punch me and we're going to move in here. And then Zoe can come finish him off next turn. It's plus one damage. Okay. The Opera Brewer. All right. This guy doesn't have Hunter. It's just hanging out. And then uh, I have one action left. I think it's going to be to play this Divination. And then we can go upkeep. That's a nice draw for sure. All right. So I have to lose some cards because we... Oh, no. it's there. They count as two. So we're good on each of these. All right. I feel like we've done nothing this whole scenario. <laughs> no, I don't have time for you. You get plus one fight for each encounter card in your hand of an investigator's location. After engages, you look top of the cards in encounter deck, draw each card with the hidden keyword, shuffle the encounter deck. Oh, that's brutal, man. Jesus Christ. That sucks. That is a card that does not fuck around. Um, we have more conviction than doubt, so we test foot five. It gets minus one difficulty, where X is the doubt you have marked. So we're going to do three. If you fail, take two damage. We're going to go two to three. Um, I'll go four to three. We fail, we take two damage. Easy come, easy go, right? So what's this one? This one's cannot play events. Okay, I would like to play events. <laughs> Thank you, though. I would like to. So Zoe's going to come in here. Zoe is going to, I think, get healed for two. <clears throat> and then Zoe is going to at attack you at nine to one. You're dead. 
punk. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, though this myth this mythos deck definitely hits hard. Um I could move out of here for my last action. We could move in here and fight you. Oh, oh, add a bless token. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's move in here. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You dare fight the katana Zoe Samaras? <laughs> you idiot. I'm going to wait till the enemy phase to do this. <laughs> We're going to wait till the enemy phase to fight this guy. All right. Uh, we're going to add a curse token with Gabriel to draw a card. If they're all two away. We'll put it there. <clears throat> Okay, we'll add a bless with our ability. Actually, we'll add a curse with our ability. No, we'll add a bless. Um, we're going to do prismatic spectacles. To investigate at five, at seven to three, we're gonna reveal a curse token. So we're five to three. Did I want to commit a card? Can't commit you. Yeah, I'll commit you. We'll go six to three. Nice. Grab two clues. Two. That was our first action. I think I'll just get rid of this whispers in your head doubts for my last two. We're going to go to the enemy phase. This curse should be gone. I am going to spend one. I'm going to do this attack after the hunters, after enemies move. And this is at the start, at the end of the enemy phase. All right. Uh, we're going to remove three bless tokens for this attack. My wolf mask is empty. <laughs> I did not calculate my wolf mask being empty, huh? Well, I'll commit this other wolf mask to go three all. Maybe we don't do the blessed tokens and we do this instead. And we go four to three. That's awful, man. Strong arms and Yeah, we actually can just go four to three. Don't worry, we'll pass on the first one. Um, I'll take a damage to cancel that token and reveal a new one. Uh, I'll take a damage to cancel that token and reveal a new one. I'll take a damage to cancel that token and reveal a new one. I'll take a damage, cancel that token until we reveal a new one. I'll take a damage, cancel that token until we reveal a new one. I'll take a damage. <laughs> cancel that token until we reveal a new one. Ah, fuck. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, chat. I'm fucking dead. Honestly, I, this Zoe deck is awful. Uh, I could have played that better for sure, but she's gone. Thought one of those would hit. That's okay. She's in a better place. Unavoidable, really. Yeah, we, could, we, we couldn't have stopped after the first one. Honestly, I'm glad you're gone, Zoe. All right, let's go upkeep over here. Okay. I mean, I think I can still win with Kohaku. I can still I can still win with Kohaku. All right. So, uh, we go evil card. Another scenic painter. 1 2 3 Shuffle, because those guys are just reveals, right? Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Man, this is just not even giving a boost to it. So we just melted in one turn. Uh, honestly, I was a little bit tired of Zoe. I'm glad she's dead. Kohaku's doing great. I mean, like, if we just did two Blessed Blades, we would have been in a much better position, right? Oh, I have a curse token because of this. She's in Katana Heaven now? She's in Shears. Let's draw a card with Gabriel. Let's add a blessed token with this. Okay. Uh, let's blood right. We're gonna draw two cards and then discard two cards. And two resources to kill this guy. I'm gonna spend two curse. I spend a curse token from here. Remove a curse token to gain two resources. Where was my blessed blade, by the way? Oh yeah, an ancestral token would have gone hard too. Yeah, I just needed that damn blood. I would if I drew the blessed blade, I definitely would have put it into play over the katana at that point, even if I would lose my enchant weapon. But I mean, we in all fairness, we knew we were kind of memeing it up with the katana there. Okay. Then we want to move in here and try to kill this guy, right? Do we just do it with Spectral Razor? I think so. Or do we save... No, we save that for other guys. So we come in here. And then we spend a clue to fight you at 4 to 3. And I'll resolve one of these. So we are 6 to 3. That's a minus 4. So we fail. Uh, we'll take 1 and 1. Uh, we'll add a curse token. We'll go upkeep. I have to discard a card here. Honestly, it's going to be these ones because we're less... Uh, five of six. All right, we'll go four to five. Yep. Yep. two cards at random uh well i'll just uh deny it <laughs> instead i suppose that'd be the way to do that all right and now we will spend a clue to fight this guy sorry our start a turn give me that clue back we add a thing to draw a card we add a bless with our ability and then we will try to fight you i'll reveal one of these and i also will commit for a brain i think i'll commit you so then we go um, seven to three. Five to three. Nice. Well, congratulations. We've killed this guy for the first time. We only need to do it two more times. I think I might just resign, to be honest. I think the decks that I brought, at least on Zoe's side, weren't good enough. Uh, this guy go down in the thing. You did set aside a play, put some clue on this. I'll have to give this one another shake with an actual fighter. I definitely underestimated how strong the enemies were going to be for this one. I definitely think we needed to bring like a non joke deck to it, you know? Yeah. 
And you might be thinking, Justin, why don't you just rewind your strong arm turn? Well, because I wanted to, I killed myself with strong arm. Sometimes you just got to accept the L, right? Yeah, because we still have two more acts left, too. I blame Chad for suggesting Katana. No, I blame me for building Katana. Oh, I, no, I blame me for killing myself with strong arm. <laughs> the storage basement. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, I think this one's probably just... I'll have to do a rematch of this one sometime with an actual, like, not-meme fighter deck. Because I think even if this guy kept coming back, we would have a hard time killing him unless we had a Blessed Blade in play. Like, if we just... If that Katana was a Blessed Blade, this thing would have been over, right? Like, we would have just uh, went through it. But... Uh, I'll resign and I'll read the thing. So if uh, each of us resigner was defeated, your eyes snap open and you rise in a panic but find yourself alone in heaps of broken plaster and rotted timbers. You stay your upward and out into the street, earning you glances from bewildered bystanders. To the best of your ability, you ask them to become um, what became of the building behind you. You discovered a great shock that the building was abandoned and demolished years ago after an unknown artist committed suicide within it. Ooh, spooky. Do you think do you really think that gallery exists at all in your campaign log or uh, record that the gallery de Roy vanished completely skip to resolution four warily you set out on the Paris roads once more looking over your shoulder more often than you might think anyone could be following you anything could be haunting your steps you must find someplace quiet secluded and devoid of the color yellow to rest your weary body we get victory X hey it's one um, interesting okay okay well uh, I will say, though, that, yeah, uh, I think this Kohaku deck definitely brought the noise. And I thought for sure one of those would have hit. I should have not pushed on the last one. Because even if we took one, we could have, like, healed Zoe up no problem. And Zoe could have kept swinging. But I think in the grand scheme of things over the entire uh, scenario, we probably would have just been ground to dust. Kia Solomon is busted. I think for Kia Solomon, I think it's a very, very good card. But um, busted, I don't think it is because I think you need like a straight, a steady trickle of curse and bless tokens to get going. And I think I think it's busted in Kohaku, obviously. Um, but and like or like parallel Zoe, but she can run it. She can run it. But I think her hand slots are more competitive. I think it's a very good card, but I don't think it's busted. All right. Um, sorry, Beard. Sorry, Beard, that I absolutely threw away your scenario. I hope you understand that. I mean, you'll understand. You, you, you've never been a fan of Katana. And, uh, I mean, example why, right? Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week, or if you're watching live on Twitch right now, for the Forgotten Age 1, which, fingers crossed, should hopefully go better, even if we're kind of memeing it up a little bit as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.